How they originated? What is the history of Satlas? Hmm. Well, Satlas started in uh, ancient China. Um, Genghis Khan took over the western region. 44 BC. Yeah, and uh, really tore those the guys a new set. asshole. And they had to start making set lists because they couldn't remember the songs anymore. Yeah. We'll come back to history with Hailstorm. <laughs> it might not be the right history, but it is a history. So, did you know that Stonehenge is actually a set list? It's an old, ancient set list. It is. Not many people know this. <laughs> no one it can rocks. remember where it starts and where it, it ends. ends. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's a circle. It is. You should listen to it. It's really good. Yeah. Jesus. So... So <laughs> we do a different set list every night. Yeah. Um, uh, we mix it up. We we also we we've completely trashed certain songs while on stage, depending on how many people are requesting whatever or yelling at us. Um, yeah, we'll call audibles and just play yeah. one sometime. Um, we're like, sorry, light guy, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's we try to switch it up every night. This especially this last like Canadian run, the U.S. Canada run, we were just like. Let's get as weird as we can on these set lists. I remember we started with the drum solo some nights. Yeah, that was interesting. We'd start with like <laughs> just a piano, Lizzie and a piano, or we'd start with like a song and just jam for yeah. 10 minutes before we go to the next one and just getting weird. We, we started doing that, um, uh, really just switching up the set list every night um, because we have so many people that travel to so many different shows and they'll come to like eight shows in a row. And so if you're just doing the same set every night, you're kind of cheating them out of some songs. And we have a lot of EPs and a lot of albums and yeah, now we're a lot of extra stuff that we, we want to use. And it's fun for us. It keeps us on our toes and yeah, we're, nothing we're, is ever old. Four yeah. albums in three cover EPs. There's uh, plenty to choose from now. So to, to fill up a 90 minute set, it's, it's like, Oh man, like what do you pick and choose? So yeah, and it keeps it fresh for us too. So yeah, but we we usually it's funny we organize it like midday, and then we'll end up doing like a meet and greet, and there'll be like ten people that are like we want to hear how to Novocaine. Like, well, geez, maybe we should throw that in. So we cross something off, and much to our our PA's chagrin, because she prints them all out, and it's like, oh, I got to do it again. No. <laughs> um, and then no, Joe, you do some unique art. Yeah, every yeah. if you're lucky enough to catch one, to, <laughs> we do new art <laughs> every single show. Set list is all did up, and uh, I don't know something. Where fun. do you get your themes? Oh, you know, from, from the, the city or from looking at like a lamp on the wall. I can, <laughs> I can do it. Playing a video game or <laughs> doing a video game. Looking at a lamp on the wall. <laughs> Literally, some, anyway. I, some I, I clever usually, pun. I've been like oh, asking cool now. Word. Like sometimes I'm just like, I don't know what to do for this, you know, Polish set list. What do I do? And Sausage. a lot of times people have good <laughs> ideas. Sometimes it has nothing to do with where we are. And sometimes it's all about the city we're in. But it's just, you know, it's a it's a hobby. It's a fun to her hobby. Yeah.